just what we released, uh, you know, he's got an ankle injury and um, that's all the information I have at this time. Still with us, Mike? All right, let's move right along then. Let's go to Dave. Frank, um, if you can't address how long it'll be out, I understand, but how do you guys move forward with potentially no LeBron for a period of time? Obviously, no Anthony Davis, Marcus Hall, et cetera. Yeah, it's, it's you know, certainly going to be a challenge when you're on, anytime you're under man, but if you play team, team first basketball and you defend at a high level, you have a chance to win, and uh, that'll be our mindset. And we. What was the mood of LeBron in the locker room? Obviously, we saw him walk off the court pretty upset. Um, and what was the mood of your team? Uh, you know, the mood of the team is, you know, at this point, we lost. And uh, we got to get back and, and win one tomorrow. And, and I won't disclose what, what any mood of, uh, you know, what, what LeBron was like internally. It's in-house. Bill Laura? Hey, Frank, it's it's probably impossible to draw a straight line between these two things, but we've spent so much of this year talking about the short off season and kind of the condensed nature of the schedule. And and here you are where, you know, your two stars are, are out with injuries. Uh, is it in your own mind? Do you do you think that could be a factor? It's impossible to uh, to tell. Uh, it's, it's possible, but um, like I said, it's impossible to tell. Kyle Goon. Hey, Frank, um, have you been able to see a, a replay of what happened with the, the play that led to LeBron going down? And did you feel like Solomon Hill, you know, was playing recklessly at all during that, that segment? I haven't seen it yet. All right, Yovan. Hey, Frank, um, two-parter. We, we, we've talked this season about the non-LeBron minutes and you guys having a, a negative net rating. What did you, uh, first, what did you think of the, the second half performance from the guys? And, and then kind of bigger picture, have you seen any positive trends in, in the non-LeBron minutes recently? Well, I, I think the way we played at Sacramento and scored 127 points shows that we have enough offensive firepower and, you know, we have a, a defensive mentality uh, with our group. So, you know, to me, we have enough to win. And, uh, you know, we just got to, I think it was just a little bit tough for our guys to, to adjust on the fly, you know, as opposed to that sack game, knowing for 24 hours that he wasn't going to be in there, uh, what the rotation was going to look like when uh, we just came out of that third quarter, uh, super cold, um, you know, it took us a while to get going, uh, played well in the fourth, but, you know, it just wasn't enough. All right. And last question, please. Let's go to Andy Kamenetsky. Hey, Frank, um, with LeBron, how, what if anything changes in terms of how you tell the guys to go about executing or the shots that you look for, plays that you look to run, that sort of thing? Well, anytime any guy's out, you, you adjust and, and play the guys that are in there's uh, strengths, you know, and, uh, you know, this will be no different. Um, you know, what we talked about, you know, more than uh, the offensive organization that Bronze brings to the table is, uh, you know, the defensive command with his voice. You know, I think that's something that, uh, you know, we could potentially miss a lot on the defensive side of the ball. Um, so everybody's got to pick up the slack on that, on that, in that regard, uh, every bit as much as they're picking up the offensive slack. Frank, thank you for your time. Okay.